Hey guys, Dave Nerona, and I'm out here at the Marlon headquarters just picking up my all new Marlon Explore Pro 2 deck for the season. So I run the seven foot with the two foot extension. We're gonna save that video for another day. But uh, since I've used pretty much every way to transport your sled to the hill and back, I wanted to go back a little bit in time for those that are looking for a trailer, namely the single sled trailer. Now, Marlon has done an amazing job at creating pretty much a lifetime trailer. You kind of buy it once and you can use this trailer for the rest of your life. And they've used all their experience over the lifetime of, of uh, trailers that they've either brought in and sold or created on their own to make this one. So just a heads up, this trailer comes um, as a specific single loader trailer without the salt guard. Um, without the jack and also without the super glides but this I'm why I picked this trailer was because I wanted to show you exactly what I would do to a trailer um, if I were to buy the single trailer from your local dealer in the Marlon form so first and foremost what's so cool about this trailer is it's a single load trailer and one of the advantages of that is at the end of the day you can take it off your truck or your car and wheel it right into your garage. So the sled stays on your trailer. It's got a wheel jack that you, this is an option. So of course you wanna get a wheel jack so you can just move the whole thing right into your garage or around your carport or wherever you need to, and you can work on it. When you're ready to go the next day sledding, you just wheel it out and hook it up to your truck or your car, however you're getting to the, the hill. So that's one of the benefits of having a single trailer if you don't own a truck or you don't are not able to put it in the back of your pickup truck or you don't have a truck that can carry the limit of a full-size deck. So I used a single loader for many, many years, and the first ones always came with really small wheels. So one of the great things that I love about this trailer, I think when you use those small 12-inch wheels, when you're rolling down the highway at 100, those 12-inch wheels are probably doing 160 kilometers an hour, so they don't last very long. Not so with these, they got a, you got a full-size tire. These are 13s, full width, so they're going to last, they're going to perform throughout uh, wherever you're going, especially on those winter roads, dirt roads and stuff like that. So that's something that you, this trailer comes with and something you should really look at when you're looking at a trailer. The other thing is it's all aluminum, so you're not going to get it, uh, it's not going to rust. Well, one other great thing about the Marlon product is these LED bullets. So we've got lights at the front and a red rear bullet at the back. So that just makes it more visible on the highway, especially on those winter or rainy roads that you're riding on. And um, also some wicked LED. And I think probably where the most damage is caused is in the lighting system. But you can see they've recessed it right in here to the aluminum. So nothing's gonna bang on it or hit it when you're loading or unloading it or just moving it around. A really great uh, thing that they've done with the lighting system. Now this trailer, the other benefit is, yes, we can use it for snowmobiling, but we can use it for trials bikes, dirt bikes. When I had mine, that's what I used it for. But this, in the Marlon fashion, they have actually designed this so you can move the rear axle back and it allows you to carry a 50 inch wide side by side. Now when you do that, there's an optional uh, loading ramp kit that you get because you don't want to use the tilt when you load a side by side because it's going to be too it's gonna come down too hard with the side by side. So you purchase two additional ramps for the side by side, but you can do it on here. And with the super track, if we look along the side here, on both sides, it has super track. So you can put the super track um, links in here. And so you can tie down ATVs, dirt bikes, trials bikes, side by sides, or the back end of your sled if you don't wanna use a rear super clamp. One of the important things that I always add to my trailers is the super glides. Now, the super glides basically allow you to walk up and allow your snowmobile to drive up super easy. So it's if you run carbides on the aluminum, of course they're going to stick and they're going to they're going to score this up. With the super glide, you can steer better, you can run the sled up, and you can also walk up and down your trailer when it's tilted without slipping. It's a must have. And of course they've got the edge rail trim here. So you just rivet that in and then the super glides slide right in. So it makes the process really, e really easy and looks really good. The other thing you'll notice on people who just mount their super glides to a, like a wood deck, through the hot and cold, they start to warp. 
And that doesn't happen when you use this edge rail uh, system because they can move within the system. So super cool. And the only thing I would add on this trailer is get rid of the, the, um, the handle here because it just takes time and add a super, uh, super clamp. I add one for the front and the rear because it means I can lock my snowmobile onto my trailer. So if I go in for dinner at the end of the day, I can just lock it to my sled trailer and no one's gonna take it. A salt guard is, I would say, a must have if you're a sledder. You're gonna get a lot of kickback off your car or other cars on the road. Obviously you wanna have a cover, but this just prevents a lot of that stuff getting up on your snowmobile uh, in the first place. So having this trailer, all aluminum, uh, having the right tire size, loading it with the right super glides and super clamps, and the salt shield means that you're gonna be able to get your ride to the hill and back safe and secure every time. And that is the Marlon Way. If you have any questions, put them in the, in the comments below and we'll see you out in the mountains.